News, a breaking news, everyday news on Prince and Miller Entertainment TV. Remember, guys, to like, share, comment, and follow, and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here. Today is the 21st of August, uh, 2022. As we continue following uh, the situation, is in um, Justice Mayor Wajajena. Yes, Atemba Mlisko, the man is also saying that uh, he also have evidence on Wajajena's corruption. So, which means that, uh, you know, can I watch that my village in our Atemba Mlisko and my village in our regarding to uh, the corrupt deals. Uh, Justice Mayor Wajajena, who is at the center of this situation, whereby uh, he's been accused of defrauding Kotko of uh, five million. Uh, US dollar do mari ikunzi yakazo no tengwa ma trucks and it is so um independent anoton uh, uh, legislator Temba Mliskwa said this week that he is also as evidence on Justice Mayor Wajajena's corruption. He was speaking in Parliament on Thursday when he said Wajajena is supposed to step down from his chairmanship of the Parliamentary Committee on Agriculture, said Mliskwa. So how do people hold Parliament today? How do people hold the government of the day? And how do people hold the ruling party when they are protecting a chairperson? To me, it is this parliament which is aiding corruption because I brought this issue up and it was not answered. Mrswa said, adding that Wajajena has been implicated in many scandals before. I also have evidence on him, Wajajena, with SFG giving money and he never brought that SFG to that parliamentary committee, yet they were an agricultural concern. At this point in time, with immediate effect, he must step down. It is the best practice even if the rule is not there. He has no respect among his colleagues anymore. And unfortunately, the blue-eyed boy for Wakuru in this parliament has fallen. I'm sure he will fall with many others too because these transactions are quite serious. I have evidence and I will be providing the evidence to Zek in terms of saying as parliament we cannot push for corruption and expose ministers but we are in the forefront of it. Deputy Speaker sitting as said she could not comment as the matter was now before the courts. Baja Jena was arrested along with Kotko executive earlier this week by the Zimbabwe Anti-Corruption Commission ZEC and faces a 5 million US dollar corruption charges. He was however released a day later on 200,000 Zimbabwe dollar bail equivalent to about 250 US dollar. And so guys, that's the latest here. And yes, I do agree with uh, Tim Mamlisko on this one. These are the people that we voted for and Vaganda Pambiripe Parliament they will represent the people to their best of their ability and if you want to vote for Obama and Jemari if you want to vote for him, you want to vote for him to MP as you support that's wrong about him buying a Lamborghini of course, I'm a business, I'm a man but still, if you want to vote for him, you can just use that money if you want to vote for him, you can just use that money if you want to vote for him, you can support the benefit of the people just imagine you want to vote for him Awari mawandri madonje, awapadero mawari ino tenga. Ono po wamari singa tobo tenge, but other people they are squandering that money which was supposed to benefit the farmers. Wangu ano wanatiz. But anyway, they all say you know innocent until proven guilty. So we na wait if Tema Mliskwa is gonna forward those villages to Zek for some investigations. But we're going to keep you in the loop here on our daily news, breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Remember to like, share, comment, and follow. And turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload here on this channel. This is our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Bless up.